We begin tonight in Wyndham County in southern Vermont, where a man was killed today in a home explosion in Newfane. Neighbors tell us the incident shook the whole neighborhood, rattling pictures on the walls. It happened overnight, and as Jack Thurston tells us, the investigation is ongoing. It's awfully hard to tell from the pile of debris, but this was a small two-story home on Route 30 in Newfane, Vermont, until an explosion leveled it just after one in the morning Friday. We definitely felt it, heard stuff falling off the walls. Jeremy Zimbruski was jolted awake. He lives across the street, saying the blast took the front door of his neighbor's place off its hinges and sent it hurtling 75 or 100 feet over the road, landing in his front lawn. It was one quick explosion. That really rattled the whole house and everybody was like, what's going on? And then it was just a lot of fire. The state police say an adult, a man, was found dead inside. His body was taken to the medical examiner's office. And the community's fire chief says they really combed the rubble, making sure no one else was inside. We did not find anybody. Chief Todd Lawley telling us by phone, investigators have labeled the explosion an accident, but the cause is still undetermined. After the initial boom, neighbors then heard quick popping sounds. Turns out ammunition stored inside was going off because of the flames. By the time the truck got there, the ammunition had stopped going off, but I, I warned everybody on the scene to you know, stay back from the ways just so we didn't have any accidents happen. So we stretched lines and fought from a ways back for a little bit, and then once everything quieted down a little bit, they moved in a little bit closer. An environmental crew was also on site, working to mitigate any pollution to a waterway running behind the property where the man lost his life. Pretty unfortunate. In Newfane, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.